How to find keywords for your low content books. Hi, I'm Kerry from Dream Creative Bee, where I give you honest reviews and tips about making money online. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button to be notified about any other videos that I make. I was asked in my comments about keywords, especially keywords for Amazon ads. So what I'm going to do is just show you different ways and different tools that there is to use in order to find keywords that you can use for either the back end of your low content books or what you can use in your Amazon ads. So we're going to start with our keyword research in Amazon itself. We're going to be using a Chrome extension tool called AMZ Expander Suggestion. And what we need to do is we need to just type in what we are looking for. So I'm going to be looking at activity books. And if I type activity books in, you can see on the screen that we have got everything there from activity books for kids age four to eight, three to five for adults, kids nine to 12, for kids seven to nine. So those are different keywords that you can be using in your back end and in your Amazon ads. So if you were doing your Amazon ads, you would actually use all those long tail keywords. You'd use the whole lot, but in the back end, you would put activity book kids then you'd put four to eight, three to five, adults, nine to 12, seven to nine, two to four, six to eight, and three years old. And you'd write it the exact same way and you'd put kids as well. In your long tail keywords for Amazon ads, you would put kids activity book. I don't know about Melissa and Doug activity books. They, it must be a specific type. So if we have a look here at activity books for kids age four to eight, and we click on it and we go through and we can see different ones. Now we can see some sponsored ones, so I'm not going to click on them. But from here, you can see that they've got niche words in. It's about cats. So they've got cats in their title. That is a keyword. So if your activity book is about cats, then you put cats in. If your activity book includes activities like dot to dots and spot the different you need to put them in somewhere whether you put it in your title your subtitle your description or your back end and if you're doing it in your amazon ads then that's what you use so if we go let's go to this one because that's independently published and we actually go and have a look at it we can actually see the different keywords that we can use so because they're doing unicorn if you've got unicorns in use the word unicorn They've used the long tail keyword activity book for kids ages four to eight. Why? Because that is being searched for in Amazon itself. A fun kid workbook. Kid workbook is use, use those. Game for learning. Coloring is the coloring in your activity book. Dot to dot. Any of these you need to put them in. And then if you go down even into the description, see what is written in the description. There's not a lot there, but fun, which is already up here kid which is already up here creativity is not so you could put that in that could be an extra keyword and then again to find some more keywords have a look at what they are putting it in the category because they themselves are keywords that you can be using either in your back end or in your amazon ads but there are different tools that you can use to find the words so if you have a look here Say we've gone into this book, we know it's independently published. There is an ASIN number, which is usually this ISBN 10 number. So if we just go back a bit, and I'm going to go and use, it loads up. It tells me there, and it matches that exact same ISBN 10 number. So that is an ASIN number or an ISBN 10 number. Now there are a couple of tools that you can use to use this to actually search what they are doing. And we also know that this book here is advertised. So we know they are using advertisements and we could use this and uh, the unicorn book is also sponsored, but we looked at it down there, so that's fine. So we're gonna copy that. And we go to Helium 10's tool. And it, within Helium 10, it is free. You can have a free account, but they do have paid monthly. I do not pay for this because I don't find the need to pay for it because I'm not doing FBA 
or anything like that. But they've got one tool that is really good for low content, but you only get two searches of it a day, which is this Cerebro. And what you do is when you get your free account, you log in and you go down to where it says keyword research and you go into Cerebro. Now the ASIN number that I copied or the ISBN 10, I'll just place it there and I can click get keywords and it's going along and it's doing a search for me and it might take a while because it is actually going through. Now it doesn't give me all the results because clearly I am not paying for it. So they're only giving me a few of the keywords. So it's saying these are the sponsored keywords are over 4,621. There's Amazon recommended 521 and there's 7,397. So they have got different keywords, activity books for kids, girls activity books. They've got uh, Spanish, which is utilis escoles de emoji. So something about emoji. Long Road Home mini series, Diwali offers for girls. There's a lot that you don't think makes sense, but they will do to what they've put in. Games for girls age six, games for girls age seven, popular kids books ages, SpongeBob police. Now, you can't use trademark terms in your back end keywords at all, but you can use them in Amazon ads because it is different. You're saying that your product is similar to this product. It's in the same niche, but do not put them in your back end keywords. So these is what Celebro has brought up for us. And it normally only gives us the first 50. In fact, you can't click on the, any of the other pages, even though it has brought back thousands. So I use my favorite tool, which is Book Bolt to do this. Now inside Book Bolt, it has got Book Scout and it's also got Keywords Tool. And as you can see, it says ASIN and I get 25 lookups till the end of the day, but only it will only check independently published books or create independently published platform. Cerebo will actually check others. So if we click on here, and this might actually take a while for it to do, but that seems to be quite quick. But while it's doing that, we're gonna go here to Book Baltic itself again into keyword. And this time, if we type activity books and we click search, it'll do a search as well. And here it'll tell you the Amazon suggest search volume as well as Google search volume and the click cost per click, but for Google, not for Amazon own ad platform. So here we go. We've got first grade activity book, second grade activity book, fourth grade. So if you want to use these in your Amazon ads, use all the long tail activity book for adults. But if it's for kids, don't put adults in activity books, for kids, for teens, toddlers, Christmas activity book, if that's what it is, cutting activity books, they knew they're quite good then. Easter activity books, Halloween activity books, Melissa and I need to look at these. Uh, Mo Williams books, activity books, Pokemon activity books. Like I said, you can use trademark in your Amazon ads, but not in your back end keywords. Remember that scratch and draw activity books. So there's 29 in the book book keywords, but how many books is how many keywords is this one using? So it's telling you, in fact, they've got some really weird 60s greatest hits, 80s. So I don't know why they've used those, uh, but they have, because these are these are what's been returned. But a lot of them, binoculars for kids, high resolution. Okay, color by numbers, that's relevant. So there's a lot of them that they are not using that is relevant. You don't need to put all the thousand keywords in your Amazon ads that are there. You don't need to fill them all. You, because it's it's going to cost you if people click on these. So make sure that your keywords 
are relevant to what is being searched because there's a lot here that is not like oldies CDs for original artists, oldies 50s and 60s CDs, running games for kids. And that's what's been returned there. Now, there's another tool called Publisher Rocket, and that used to be just for um, ebooks, but now it also does low content books. And it's got a specific area for AMS keywords search. And it says activity books, activity books for kids, activity books, activity books for adults, ages two to four. And these are all Amazon suggestions, different activity books for the different ages. So you could actually list two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then also in the bands, the age group bands, kindergarten, pre-K, Mazes for kids, road trip, book set, activity book with minifigure, stickers, young adults, ultimate puzzle challenge, highlights as the author. They do quite a lot like hidden pictures and things, activity slayer. They are independent published, but they have some really big, huge books out there doing really well. And then, like I said, you wouldn't put that in an activity book for children. You might put it in an activity book for adults. And you can also use the trademarks to actually go for them. So that is how you do your keyword research. So before we move on, uh, the pricing for KDP Rocket is actually $97. The link will be down in the description for it. The pricing for Helium, again, the link will be down in the description. They are not affiliate links, nor is the KDP Rocket. Uh, but you can get a free account to test it out, to use uh, Cerebo or any of the other tools. You only get two chances a day to use them, but it might be enough to get you started to find your keywords. Uh, Amazon expand, Suggestion Expander is a free Chrome tool and that gives you the keywords, the long tail keywords there. So that's what that does, Mazes for Kids dot to dot, anything like that. So the pricing for Book Bolt as well is $9.99 for monthly newbie. Book Bolt has got a lot of other things besides uh, keyword research. It's um, products that you can search, sellers that you can search, cloud, book scout, favorite, keywords, category, KDP spy, also a Book Bolt lister that helps you list your books quickly. It's not an automation, it's just a sort of extension tool, but I'll show you how to do that. And then if you go for the ninth, it's got the Book Bolt Designer, Book Bolt Mask Cover, that you can do your front covers and you can do your interiors with that. It also has free resources, interior resources. And if you go for 19.99 one, you also get Puzzle Wiz uh, with that. So. The yearly plan is $89.99 or $199.99. But if you type Dream Creative B, if after you've gone through your free trial of three days and you type the coupon code Dream Creative B, it will give you 20% discount. So Rocket is 97 and Helium is 97 per month. Rocket, it's a one-off payment of $97. Again, all the links will be down in the description. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go and watch the video again or ask questions in the comments. Over on the right-hand side, there are some training and review videos. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified about any new videos on my channel.